So the, this beautiful purple plant that we're, that we're looking at here is called poke salad or pokeweed, also sometimes called ink berry. And these berries turn really, really purple. The ones I have here are dried out, but they make a great purple dye. The nice thing about this plant, this one obviously doesn't have very much in the way of leaves left on it. In the springtime when it first comes up, the first sprouts or shoots are excellent and, um, and it's a very popular dish, a uh, traditional dish, especially in the southeast. It's called poke salad or pokeweed and leaves are collected and boiled just like spinach. So this is a really nice plant. Uh, earlier in the year it would have produced a whole lot of food for us. If you look, there's, it's all over this field. There's one over there. There's a whole bunch along the far side of the field. There's a lot of poke salad up here. The other plant that's here that's really nice, that is a perfect complement to our, to our cedar that we found back there, is mullen. Mullen is this stalk right here, and if we were going to do, instead of a bow drill, if we were going to do a hand drill, this would be the stalk of choice for a hand drill. And the way it would work is we would take our mullen, break it off, and take all these pointy, prickly things off of it, put it down on our fireboard, and spin it until we had a fire. We don't have a fireboard, I'm just drilling it into the ground, but that's actually the, exactly what you would do. You just get your mullen, spin it back and forth, break the top part off, and spin it. And this is what you would use instead of doing a bow drill fire if we had dry mullen. But this is a perfect fire starter, and instead of having to carve a stick, it's already made into a nice round stick, just like some of the, the uh, cedar leaves are.